Welcome to Old School, a podcast from the Old Davy School Historical Museum. I'm Kim, the Education Director, and we have a few small events coming up. We have guided tours on Wednesdays and Saturdays at 10 a.m., 11.30, and 1 p.m., but we only have one more Saturday special in November. Along with your tour of the museum, you also get the bonus of a special craft and a free orchid while supplies last. Also on this Saturday, November 21st, We'll have our historic Davy walking tour at 10 a.m. Take about a mile walk to see and learn about some of the historic buildings in downtown Davy. Tickets are available on our website at www.olddavyschool.org. There has been so much rain with Tropical Storm Ada. The canals are full, the pumps are doing their best, and we are very easily reminded that this used to all be underwater. It makes you wish that you could live in a houseboat, right? Well, the Griffin family did. Griffin Road is one of the main thoroughfares through Davy, but who were the Griffins? We'll really just hit the tip of the iceberg here with a little introduction to the family. There are just a lot of stories to tell. And we'll get to hear it from Mrs. Barbara McCall about her family's history, including that houseboat on the canal. William Alfred Griffin, known as Al, was born in Livingstone, Kentucky on July 26, 1889. His father bought property in South Florida in the newly reclaimed Everglades farmland, and Al came to Florida in 1909 with his parents and his brother, T.M., which is short for Timoleon. They settled in Zona, and he began working as a surveyor in the area. One day, while surveying, a heavy rain with lightning and thunder arose. Al and his crew made a dash for the nearest house and took refuge under the eaves to escape the downpour. A young woman came out on the porch, and with a strong Spanish accent, she asked, Could I get you a glass of water? Of course, that's the last thing they needed under those conditions. But from this chance meeting came a romance. Al was later introduced to the same lovely lady, and that is Anna Dolores Zanetti, at a community fair in Davy, and asked for permission to visit her. Anna Dolores Zanetti was born on November 27, 1898, in Panama. Her aunt Adolfa had been a bookkeeper for the Zona Corporation, building the Panama Canal, and had met and married an American man named Harry Earle, who was a supervisor for the company. They had moved to the new farmland in South Florida in 1910. Anna, her mother, and two sisters followed in 1912. Anna was described as tiny in stature and mighty in spirit. She spoke very little English early on, Spanish being her native language. She was also very young at the time, only 15, but in May 1913, Anna and Al were married, and were the first couple to be married in Zona. They began their family while living near his parents' home in Zona. Barbara McCall's mother, Anna Elida, was their first daughter, born in 1914, followed by Christina in 1917. A doctor from Fort Lauderdale, Dr. Stanford, attended Christina's birth and traveled for hours by horseback and boat from Fort Lauderdale to the tiny wood farmhouse in the Everglades. After two girls, they had six boys, Alfred David, who's known as A.D., Harry John, Carl, Howard, Richard, and Gerald, who's known as Jerry, who was their youngest in 1931. Al supported his family first as a surveyor, then as a tugboat captain, hauling vegetables from Lake Okeechobee to Fort Lauderdale docks on the North New River Canal. That's the canal that runs along State Road 84 and was built as a shipping lane. In later life, he would become an accomplished carpenter. Al and Anna raised their family in a houseboat that he built from Dade County Pine and included all of the modern conveniences of the day. Described as whitewashed in color with flower boxes and ruffled curtains, it eventually survived over 45 years of family use. For several years, it traveled the local waterways wherever Al would be working at the time. But Davy was always home and the children attended the Davy School. In 1922, the houseboat was dry docked permanently, and a foundation and basement room were added. It also served as a refuge for several families during the hurricane of 1926, over 40 people huddled in the small houseboat. The house was built into the canal bank, which made it high and safe, and was located around where the new University Point apartments were recently built. If you can imagine when they dug the canals, the dirt was dumped along the side of the waterway and it looked like 20-foot mountains along the edge. It's much different from today. And so that house was sort of tucked into that water's edge there. Tragically, Anna and Al were killed in October 1937 as a result of an automobile accident caused by a drunk driver. Barbara McCall was only one at the time of her grandparents' passing. 
But her mother, the eldest Griffin at only 23 years old, became the legal guardian for her six younger brothers, ranging in ages from 6 to 16. She and her husband, Ralph Hammer, and one-year-old Barbara moved into the family's dry-docked houseboat to raise the family together. The county commission eventually named Griffin Road after the family, when Tony Salvino, a local Davy citizen, was on the commission. I interviewed Barbara McCall about her family and what it was like living in that houseboat. So your mom, your mother was born here? My mother was born in Davie. And she's yeah. Anna Al Alida? Elida. Elida. She, they pronounced it Elida. It should mm -hmm. be Anna Elida, oh. Spanish pronunciation. Oh. And of course that was the name she was given mm -hmm. by her parents. But it, it became Anna Elida. Mm -hmm. So when she was born here in Davie, she was the first she baby? was the first, I say white, because mm -hmm. she wasn't Indian, mm -hmm. uh, and there was a boy baby born before her, uh, I think a, a son of one of the people that had to do with selling of the land. Mm -hmm. but, uh, oh, McKinney. McKinney, right. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was born before her, I think just a little, not a lot, mm -hmm. because the, the Griffins came in, in 19... 09, wasn't it? And um, and she was born in 14. Mm -hmm. So there wasn't, Davy was pretty young yeah. and the land was all freshly drained. Mm -hmm. So I would imagine it was kind of a muddy mess. Yeah. But. And was she uh, born at home? She would have been born. My at, mother yeah. was born at home. Yeah. No doctor to assist mm -hmm. with that? No. Oh no, yeah. well, nobody at that point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and she was the first. Mm -hmm. So it would have been a more complicated delivery. Mm -hmm. But then uh, Anna Dolores went ahead and had like seven more children after wow. my mother. Oh, wow. Did, and did, so that's, that's the Griffin side. Mm -hmm. And did all those siblings stay in, stay in Davy, or was it mostly your... I, everybody you know, stayed, for, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I've got pictures in my little book here of uh, like Jerry's wedding. All the uncles are there. Mm -hmm. um, Jerry was the youngest, so he would have been the last wedding. But yeah, they all stayed here mm -hmm. and they all lived to be old men. Mm -hmm. They were all fantastic. Some mm -hmm. of them on city council and that kind of stuff. And uh, AD very interested in the town of Davie and business and all that. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. They were involved in Griffin Brothers Company. My dad was too. Oh yeah. And um, it was it was a good bunch. Um, and so the Griffins, they had didn't they? They lived in a houseboat. Yes. Was that the, okay. Yes. So tell me about whenever, this houseboat. <laughs> okay. Whenever uh, Anna and her husband uh, William Alfred, whenever they married. Uh, he was doing jobs wherever he could get a job. Mm -hmm. And so he and his brother, uh, Timoleon was his name. Wow. They, we called him Uncle T, or they <laughs> called him Uncle T. I was a baby, of course. But he and his brother T made a houseboat, just a small one. But my mother was old enough to remember it exactly. And she says that it was just a dollhouse. It was like a dollhouse, but it had running water and a bathroom and everything. So he built this this uh, houseboat, and he moved it down the canal to wherever he was working. Now, mm -hmm. he even worked on the courthouse in Fort Lauderdale. Oh, okay. So at that point, mm -hmm. he would have taken it and tied it close to the courthouse as he could wow. in New River mm -hmm. and work on the courthouse as a carpenter. He was, wow. he was a carpenter for a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. uh, and and then he would move it around. Well, she was always pregnant because they had eight <laughs> children mm -hmm. and she started at 15. Mm -hmm. So she was always pregnant. And whenever the 26 hurricane came, she, she said, it would be so wonderful, Al, if you could just tie it up, you know, because the motion would get to oh, her, they said. She was a little tiny person. Mm -hmm. So he tied it up, more than tied it up. He somehow or other, after the storm or whatever, he jammed it into the canal bank, <laughs> literally into the canal bank, mm -hmm. which at that point was a huge, I thought it was a mountain, mm -hmm. it was a huge thing of white sand that they had dug out when they dug the canal. See, mm -hmm. and they left 
a bank on each side of the, of the canal. And so he jammed it into the canal. He dug out, dug out some of that. And so the, the house actually literally kind of overhung, it had the effect of overhanging oh, the, wow. the canal, uh -huh. the kitchen window did. And the kitchen window was one of these things that propped out like this and you put a thing in it. You know oh, okay. what I mean? Mm -hmm. It was a wonderful house. I still have dreams about that house. Wow. <laughs> and, and they had enlarged it mm -hmm. a little because I know, see, we lived in it after the parents were killed and we moved into there. Mm -hmm. It had a, a cement room downstairs that had a floor and a drain. And of course the water drained right into the canal. That works. <laughs> but the boys all took showers and it was a community shower. And it had like a wall across here, but there was a door that was wide open. I mean, if you walk down, you'd see them taking a shower. Mm -hmm. But you'd have to walk down the canal bank and you would scream. Most everybody screamed, you know, mm -hmm. anybody coming. And But we had boats all docked along the canal mm -hmm. because we were right there. We were that close to the water. Wow. Okay. Uh -huh. But there was, my dad had built a, a decking thing. Mm -hmm. They call that something too, a wall to keep the water away mm -hmm. and the sand in. Okay. So uh, they would take a shower out in the open and my mother would wash clothes in that room too because mm -hmm. there was electric and stuff. And the boys had a sink here, <laughs> one sink for six guys mm -hmm. and their toothbrushes hanging up there. Oh. And, and that was their bathroom. Okay. They had mm -hmm. a mirror. I don't remember if there was a mirror in their bedroom or not, but then this was a big bedroom that mm -hmm. was the length of the house upstairs okay and so that they had all bunk beds and there were six six bunk beds and the guys always had company uh, harry spike was forever at our house oh. and, and other friends you know mm -hmm. the wolf boys and that it was it was interesting okay. because it made it interesting you know there's always mm -hmm. some funny things going on or there they're having a boxing match or doing something. It was you great. got a batch of boys like that. That's what they <laughs> My mother and dad and I were upstairs Aww. out of this. Mm -hmm. And uh, if they had wanted to go to the bathroom, they had to come upstairs. Mm -hmm. we had that, the only bathroom was upstairs. It was like an indoor bathroom? Indoor bathroom. Mm -hmm. And she had a big, uh, my dad had made her all these clotheslines up top because she washed clothes in a wash, one of these whish wash kind of machines mm -hmm. and, and she had to carry the baskets then up the stairs and he, he was such a doll, he did make steps so that she didn't have to scale a mountain, you know, I mean, he walked, she could go up the steps but she worked hard, hard, hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, even as a little kid, mm -hmm. I could see this, you know, mm -hmm. because she had me to take care of and uh, half of the time I would have kids there with me, you know, mm -hmm. I, my cousins, cousins were wonderful. Mm -hmm. I had an Enid Hammer cousin and a Charlie Lloyd cousin and, oh. and Richard Shaw across the, the road, which was not paved, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but that's basically, you know, that was the setup of the house. Wow. We, I had a tiny bedroom beside my mother and dad's bedroom, and then there was a third bedroom and an interesting thing is Jerry, the youngest uncle, was sick one entire year. He had to be in bed. Mm -hmm. He had, um, his hip bone had literally come out of the joint. Ooh. It's called leg Perthes disease. And I learned about it when I was in nursing, mm -hmm. but the hip bone turned out of the socket and he had to go to Miami Jackson Memorial uh, for an operation. And then he had to go back to see the doctors. And my grandfather, before he died, had had several friends in the Oddfellas Club. And my mother never had to pay for a, she didn't know how she was gonna do it, but she never had to pay for a, a um, ambulance to get Jerry to the hospital because mm -hmm. he, they put him, after the operation, they put him in a cast and his legs were like this. Mm -hmm. This one leg was all in the cast and this one was down to the knee mm -hmm. and it came all the way to his waist. Wow. And it was a major cast mm -hmm. and that had to be there for a year. Mm -hmm. And then they took it off, but they put a pin through his knee mm -hmm. and I think he had another pin through something else. And that, and the, after they got the hip bone into the right joint and took away the disease mm -hmm. part, 
So it was monumental. And mm -hmm. she had him to teach. Mrs. Jenny would send home the homework. Oh. So she had him to teach, mm -hmm. me to take care of mm -hmm. as just a kid, uh, and all the boys and everybody, all of us, to cook for her. I think we were a family of nine, right? Mm -hmm. Six, Six seven, eight, mm -hmm. nine. And, but I never heard her complain. Oh. Uh, if she needed help, she would call her sister Christina, mm -hmm. who lived across the canal, and, and she would come. I know Christina would do some babysitting with Jerry mm -hmm. because she always worried about fire with Jerry. See, our house was just wood. Yeah. And she worried because there's no way she could have gotten him out of the house. Mm -hmm. And that wow. it, he, it, he was like a building. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh -huh. But that was that was our life. Mm -hmm. You have different emergencies when you're a family, you know. Yeah. And they, but she you was able to take care of everything. Wow. Where was the house situated? It was. was do you know where? Do you know where that big development has been built? I call that Charlie Rubes Corner. On the Rubisons lived on the corner. From here? I think. Oh, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. It, it says something yeah. about university students yeah. on the side. Okay, mm -hmm. it was if you go to like almost at the end of that building and mm -hmm. go and cross the canal. That's where we were. Okay, on the very, water right there. That's like right Davy Road. And, yeah, wow. very close to Davy. Mm -hmm. I rode a bicycle mm -hmm. to school. All the boys did. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you could walk to school. The school was close. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was, it was a perfect yeah. situation. And did you say the boat went through the hurricane, the twenty six hurricane, like, or you was know, it I, that was? It I was don't built know in, if that. he had it on the actual shore or Oof. if he just tied it for the hurricane. Mm -hmm. But I think it was after the hurricane that he literally started that because it was quite a project. Uh -huh. But he was a carpenter, mm -hmm. and at that point, I think he was doing the the uh, boat service. They had a boat line. He and his own, his brother Timoleon, mm -hmm. and they bought some little boats I, th I think maybe one or two little boats and the boat then could pull a barge mm -hmm. and bring all the furn the furnishings that you're going to need for your house and mm -hmm. build your whole house we will have more on families like the griffins that help shape the davy we know today but until then take care of each other bye